What's, what's, what's good, what's good, people? It's Jeruz, and uh, we back with another episode, you know, Canes and Hills. Just talking about some Miami football content real quick and about the defensive hire with Lance, Coach Lance Gildry. Uh, hope I ain't butcher his name. I feel like this is a good hire. I feel like just watching some of his defenses, dude's defense is pretty much the future of how defense is being played with a lot of quarter man coverages and um, – Really taking advantage of using like hybrid type players. And if you know what I mean by hybrid, you know, it might be a hybrid of a corner slash safety or a safety slash linebacker or defensive end slash safety, you know. And I feel like that's where the game is moving to. Almost like once you get past that, that front line, like that middle of the defense is pretty much can be all hybrids. If you can have your whole back end and a number of hybrids, Guys that can tackle and cover with speed, yo, you can pretty much be able to stop the run when you need to and and defend the pass. And that's pretty much what it is. You know, people want to defend the pass, but you will get pounded out if you ain't got the, the right personnel on the field. And um, I feel like that's what Coach uh, Gidry is about to do. And he probably looked at the defense and seen nothing but hybrids on Miami's uh, team, man. On, on, on the defensive side of the ball for Miami, it's nothing but hybrids. Nothing but hoppers. I mean, you can go from like guys like Jaden Wayne, uh, the new kid that they just, the new kid that they got from VA. He's a linebacker slash safety. I feel like he really about to eat. You know, he really about to eat. Cam gonna eat. Uh, James gonna eat. He's a hybrid. So I really feel like it might be a chance for to be multiple All Americans or All Conference players on the defense end on the defensive side of the ball for Miami this year. I don't know what's up with the offense. This video is strictly about the defense and hybrids. So, with that being said, I really do feel like with Miami, on the defensive side of the ball, them boys going to eat. The Saint, he going to eat. Um, uh, Washington, he going to eat. He a hot, he, yo, dude's mad fast and he a linebacker. He going to eat. So, it's going to be hard to scheme, scheme against them. Um, and then Lance, he... Lance come from a, a, a school where his, his prior stop was at Marshall. So, you know, of course, he had to scheme things up with guys that was less talented. I mean, I don't hate using the word less talented, but, you know, it's like the blue chip ratio. Miami got Miami got players on paper, you know, how they was ready. They got, they got players. So, Lance going to be able to come in there. He's going to be like a kid in a candy store. Straight up. He's going to be like them kids in, straight kids in a candy store. Nothing but, like, yo, I'm going to be able to put this guy here, make a play. Sub him out. Bring the next hybrid in, make a play. Nothing but hybrids. And you start, it's a lot of that going on in the NFL with hybrid linebackers. Um, Clemson was doing, you know, he used to be the star player or, you know, things things of that nature. But imagine having two or three of those guys on the field at the same time. It's like James, James, James Williams, yo, he going to show out this year. He going to show out this year. Guarantee you, a lot of guys really giving them business. In this prior season, I mean, I don't even really think it was warranted. I mean, a lot of guys were giving him flat for the shoulder tackles, but I mean, every time I seen him, he was hitting dudes and wrapping up, man. That and dude was hurt, so I really feel like James James gonna do his thing this year, and them boys gonna be out. You know, this is about to be the, the year I believe you're gonna see multiple guys in the first round from Miami. You know, like straight up, man. And and then we got you know got the corners, got the Brown brothers. They both big and physical. They gonna tackle. They ain't coming off the field. And then, and we got depth. We got depth. I, I really feel like the defense is really about to be lit this year for Miami. I mean, last year was a cluster. You know, Charlie Strong and Kevin Steele. Um, I just think I don't really think they utilize their personnel. I mean, that's just my my personal opinion. I mean, I ain't no coach. I don't do it for a living. So, what is my opinion? But my opinion. With that being said, I'm very excited to see how these hybrids work out, man. It's gonna, it's a, they got a lot of hybrids, man. A lot of them, man. Son has been sitting in the cut. Moss, he been in the cut. He, yo, he about to, he about to eat. They about to eat. Najali gonna eat. Uh, Bang gonna eat. Yo, I'm really thinking Miami should have like one of the top defenses in the ACC off off the rip. All they got to do is figure out the offensive side of the ball. That's all they got to do is figure it out. Mario, can you figure it out? 
somebody figure it out. But um, yeah, man, let me know what you think about this whole hybrid situation and what hybrids that I might have missed. And um, I feel like it's just almost like basketball was well, almost like a positionless league. Hybrids, man. Let me let me know what y'all think. Drop a uh, drop drop some comments. You know, subscribe and uh, like the page, man. And uh, I'm really just getting started with this thing, and I really appreciate any support that y'all give me. And I'm I'm gonna keep busting out content and giving my opinion and and things of that nature. Um, I just dropped a thing on Carolina. You know, Carolina won yesterday, but it's about Miami football. Blah 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 blah. But uh, yeah, get at your boy. Uh, like and subscribe, leave comments, and let me know like what's your top hybrids. And um, yeah, let's start a conversation. All right, go Canes.